Hunter Hunter, episode 112 review, let's go! So yet again, another very cinematic flair-like episode from Hunter x Hunter. Another just really good episode, honestly, too. Though I will say this, I will say this, like, there's so much build-up going on, and, and, and it's so intense, and now I feel it and everything, right? But well, let, let's get some fight. Like, I, I want to get some fight now. Like, I can't take any more of the setup. I need my awesome action. Well, let's go. Let's fight. I want to see everybody go in, blow up stuff. Like, I don't know. I, I just, there's so much setup going on. It's just making, it's, it's, it's killing me right now, all right? It's killing me. I, I got to see what's going to happen next, man. I, I, I got to see the fight now. We got we to gotta fight. We got to fight. And enough of the cinematic stuff is great and all, but let's get on with some freaking brawls, man. Let's go. Let's go. So the thing that happens in this episode, we see Yopi, and they're about to encounter and try to, you know, attack him and stuff, because they didn't expect him to actually be there. You know, but Hila's like, I knew it. Because <laughs> he's like, I had, a, I had a feeling that something's going to go wrong here. Bam! Bam! I'm right. So yeah, Shoot was supposed to go up in there and actually attack Yopi and everything, but the thing is, he couldn't move any further, because if he moved any further, Yopi was going to go up in there and like, bam! And, you know, start attacking him and stuff. Thing is though, we see Gong. Gong's just like, da -na 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 -na. just going up in there all slow motion in there because everything's like like super slow mo right now and stuff. And you see like Gong's face. Gong is like in the zone. You cannot tell him nothing. Like this dude is in there. He's just like, <sighs> she's going. I'm like, dude. And then Ring Kill's like, no. <laughs> he starts going up there too. And everybody's like, because oh. right, then they finally react after they see Gong. Like he's already up there and everything. Like it was, it was bad. It was bad. Like he was like supposed to fight this dude. He's supposed to go for freaking number people. Like, he don't give a crap right now though. Luckily though, we see Knuckles and the chameleon guy, you know, they're, they're actually invisible at the moment. So Knuckles goes up in there, goes next to Yopi, he's like, oh, bam! He gives him them knuckles. He gives him them knuckles to his side, son. And freaking he slides to the side. He's like, whoa! What? And he starts thinking like, what hit me? What happened? Oh my god, I got blind spats. I don't know what's going on. And then freaking going past him and everything. Like, everybody's going past the sucker because he didn't know what's going on. He was just so confused. He's like, what touched me? Who did this? And so what he does... This dude starts transforming. He's like, I need to cover my blind spot. So he's like, and he gets a bunch of eyes and stuff. And I'm like, okay. Oh, like this sucker's like, now you see everything. Now, now he's seeing everything. Like, he looks so ugly. The thing is, though, this dude, Yopi, he didn't absorb, like, humans or anything like that. He had, like, mythical creatures or whatever it was. Like, he, he didn't get the same kind of nourishment that the other uh, commands did. So that's why he's very unique and that he can be able to to transform into basically anything he wants. So if he wants to be like a freaking fairy princess, he can be like, I'm a fairy princess. And you know, he can he can do fairy princess-like things if he wants to. I'm just saying, like he can transform into anything really with what, what his body can do. That's why he can have wings and all this other stuff. So it's kind of interesting about Yopi here. So the other part of this episode, we see freaking Shala Poof. He's going to like, King! Ah! he's all kick, kicking rocks. Like, bah, bah, breaking them all down. Like, he, he, he ain't caring about this. He was just so focused on the king that he didn't even realize the king's not even in that freaking place he's in. He's not, he's not in the, his own building. Like, that's like a probably left already. And he went in there. He's gone. Like, he rushed over there, and he's just sitting there like, uh, 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 I was too slow. <laughs> like, yeah, man, you kind of too slow. And so we see Nefro Pito, though. She's still in the air, like, mm, t stance, and, you know, she's falling down and everything, looking at just the destruction, the array. The thing is, she can't fly. Like, Yopi and Shalapu can fly. She has to free fall. She can't do anything otherwise. So the thing is, because she can't do that, it kind of gives her a better position in this right here, that she can actually be the one that's on looking at everything and seeing what's exactly going on. Because look at, well, look at Shala Poof did. Shala Poof didn't do all that, and because he has wings and all that stuff to fly, he went over there rushing to the area, and bam, there's nothing there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of would mess everything up. But luckily, that because she can't fly, kind of gave her the position to know what's going on, where the king is, and what's happening with the king, because the king is holding on to Komogi, and, like, you can't really see at the moment, but, like, with her Nin, she can see a little bit. And then on the sides, we see freaking Netero and Zim, and they're going in, like, mm -hmm, going to get you. Like, it's about to happen. Like, oh, snaps. <laughs> but the thing is, Necropito's like, uh-uh. So she's, like, free-falling. She ends up expanding her legs twice the amount that we've seen before. Goes in there, blam, just flashes so fast over there. And she's there. But the sight that she sees is something that she regrets even going to because the king is so freaking pissed. This dude was so mad. This dude was so mad that I was feeling scared. Like, I can feel the net. I can feel the aura coming out of my screen, hitting me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. You know, it, it, it was bad. Like, this sucker, he was so, like, you can't even see his face. Like, he was so mad, his face disappeared. He was a black face. Like, this, you couldn't even mess with that. 
Like, it was just freaking crazy. And Zeno and Netero were just sitting there like, oh, crap. And not to mention, he ended up seeing, they also ended up seeing a sight they didn't expect, which is the king actually caring about a human life. Like, they're like, what? And it was just very interesting. So they decided not to attack to, out of respect for this because they would kind of mess up the whole part of this mission, really, like the whole ideal of, of the mission and everything. So they decided not to even attack her. Or, I mean, attack him. And so the thing is, the king... And this was a very, very good moment. The king ends up giving Nefropito this, this, this job that she has to do. Basically bring Komogi back to life. And he says that I'm, I'm counting on you. The thing is, at that moment, Nefropito started crying at that moment. And it's just like, the significance of that scene right there was just basically, it was just, it, it was nice. And what it was, she didn't really cry about Komogi dying. It's the fact that the king gave her such a sensitive mission to do right now this is this is a very important mission that she, that that <laughs> that she that the king gave her not to mention she, the king said i'm counting on you to do this i'm counting like to to that to to, to the camera ants that is like an honor like, that's that's the biggest honor you can get like the king actually relying on you for something like this so like, you start crying it's just that was actually a pretty nice moment there and so at the end of this episode oh my freaking god that, oh when i saw that i was like oh my god Oh, it's, I was like, really? Really? It was so, ooh, so bad. Because the thing is, when uh, Neferpito uses Dr. Blyce, they both, Zeno and Nefer Netero, look over there. They're like, huh? And that, at that moment, the king right there could have killed them. They could have died right on the spot. I was like, oh my god, that was so scary. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, it was so bad. It was so bad. But the king decided not to because he's like, let's go to a different era so we can have a one on one fight. And we were actually, well, we can actually fight and stuff. So I guess out of respect for the fact that they didn't attack him while he was holding on to Komogi, I guess, he decided not to attack them. And, or maybe he's just, he'd rather have an actual fight. He don't really, he's not a person to do underhanded tricks possibly. That's what he is. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a brawler. He wants to show his strength. Why would he do something like that? So. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it was just a scary situation right there where they could have died at that moment. I'm just like, God dang. Like, all, all that hype from the Predator and everything, like, yeah, yeah, boom, his head all popped off and it was all over. I'm like, oh, oh, no, I'm be freaking crying. It'll be all over. But, yeah, that was nice. Like, this episode, like I said, it just has so much hype to it, so much crazy crap going on. That it's just, uh, it's just such a nice field episode. I'm really loving Hunter x Hunter right now. Like, this this is so much build up, but I really want to see some actual fighting going on at this point because I can't take another build up episode. I, I can't. My heart can't take it. I can't handle it. So, please, let's get some action going on here. I want to see some actual brawls and beatdowns and everything. Like, I'm hyped. I am definitely hyped right now. Like, this was a really great episode, though. I really enjoyed it and, and some of the symbolism and so on and so forth with this episode as well and I don't know this, this is nice so it seems like though too that Nerepito actually probably not going to be in any fights right now because she needs to try to revive Komogi so I'm curious though I mean is she actually going to be able to revive Komogi because I mean yes she could but it's just be like because I didn't, I didn't expect that you know what I mean like I, I thought she died because look I'm not going to lie I got a little spoilered uh, spoiled a little bit and I saw the, that particular scene actually that she died and everything so I, I'm not, I, I, part of me doesn't expect her to come back, but I don't know. Like, so, I mean, that's the only thing I know. So, if she actually comes back alive, that's going to be interesting. So, I mean, I don't know. It's interesting. I also know something else that I got spoiled with, but I'm just going to leave that alone because I don't want to tell y'all and I want to spoil y'all. So, yeah. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, even though I'm, I know things, you know, I'm still hype. I don't give a crap, you know. God dang. That's just how Hunter x Hunter is. God dang, he's beast. So, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. Like you like this review and subscribe to my channel for more Hunter x Hunter reviews from me. Guess when the Break Master. And until then, peace. Break out.